They're the Kambini boys. They're the Kambini boys. They're the Kambini. They're the Kambini. They're the Kambini. They're the Kambini boys. One. Hey, Mike. Matt, how's it going? What are you? Are you are you in a family mart right now? What's going on? Yeah, Mike, we're I'm broadcasting live from Family Mart just outside. <laughs> and uh gotta tell you, this is the only thing keeping me alive right now. This is the only <laughs> thing keeping my spirits up. It's a tragic series of events this past week. Yep. But uh thank goodness there's a local family mart that I can go to to make me feel better. And Mike, I got a, you too. It looks like you're at uh, what is that? Is that an award ceremony there? You're, you're damn right. It is Matt. Um, so, uh, <laughs> Matt, this is like you were saying, I know it's been a, it's been a wild week. Hey, mm. it's 2021. Who would have thought this is supposed to be the good one, but, um, we'll see what happens from here. Matt, Hey, I got some great news and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. This week, things are a little bit different on the show because we have a big announcement to make here. And um, actually, Matt, I'm at the the, uh, the awards ceremony for mm. the Kombini tournament. Mm -hmm. And um, I think we're, we're ready to announce the winner of the Kombini tournament. We sure are, Mike. And could it have been any other item than, yes, the one and only... Family Mart's Fammy Chicky. Yes! Fammy Chicky defeated Tuna Mayo Onigiri in the mm -hmm. championship matchup. There were 441 votes, Mike. Mm -hmm. Huge number of people participated Huge. in this vote. Wow. Uh, and to the best of my knowledge, there has been no, you know, Hugo Chavez from the grave did not engineer <laughs> the voting machine to rig this tournament. <laughs> Fami Chicky won decisively, mowed through every opponent it yeah. faced in yeah. all and six rounds of this tournament, Mike. Yeah, and let's look at those uh, those opponents one more time. First round, it was Fami Chicky versus the Ham Katsu, and that was let's be honest, that yeah. was that was Watch tough. Out. That was a tough day for Ham Katsu. <laughs> Came up against Karage Kun, one of the most watched matches of the the tournament, and again handled it pretty well. Mm. And uh, next, Fami Chicky versus Pizza Man. Mm. What a what a battle! Maybe the most difficult battle of the whole tournament. Handled it pretty well. Got next against Nikuman. Handled it. Mm. Black Thunder. Handled it. And then finally, against that black horse, the old Mayo Man himself, Tuna Mayo Onigiri. <laughs> Matt, I think you saw. Put him, put him, put him down hard. Well, this was a close matchup to start, Mike, yeah, in the first yeah. 200 or so votes. I was shocked to see Tuna Mayo Onigiri just mm -hmm. a handful of votes back. In fact, yeah. it was leading at the start of the matchup. But mm -hmm. sure enough, the last couple days of the match, Fami Chicky, it like it, it's like it decided, okay, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm going to start playing my real ball <laughs> here. And it just stomped on Tuna Mayo Onigiri. Again, oh. Tuna Mayo, though, got to pay respect to an eight seed here. An yeah. eight yeah. seed, Mike, that mm -hmm. managed to fight its way all the way to the championship matchup. And it, too, faced some challenging opponents. I would like yes. to similarly uh, go through them quickly. Mm -hmm. In the first round matchup, Curry Rice blew it out of the water. Karaage Bento, another tough matchup, crushed mm -hmm. it. Cup Ramen, Mike, a two seed, killed yeah. it. And then, of course, the Onigiri showdown oh. against Umeboshi Onigiri. Boom. And I hate to bring this up, but in the semifinal matchup, it did yep. defeat your number one item, actually favorite Konbini item, Pakari Sweat. That's right. To make it to the championship. But it ran out of steam when it came to battle against Fami Chicky, hey, yeah. you know what? There's uh there's no shame in losing to Fami Chicky. No, no, no. There is none. And um yeah, Matt, I'm here at the awards ceremony and you know, everybody's here <laughs> and everybody, you know, they're all saying the same thing. I, I you know, I talked to Pizza Man, I talked to Nikuman. <laughs> You know, they're, they're, you know, they're just paying respect to the king right now. And um, to Namayo Nagiri as well. You know, a lot of people, you know, pat on the back, you know, 
good job getting this far, but there's no doubt today belongs to one item, and that's the Fami Chicky. That's right, Mike. I would like to say that at the awards, some I was a little disappointed. Oden <laughs> chose not to show. Right. Still fuming from its first round loss to Tsukune, <laughs> uh, which again he's uh, contesting that match still. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lawsuits are being filed as we speak. So unfortunately, <laughs> Oden didn't make it to the ceremony. Yeah. Um, yep. I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe they'll send some private note to Fami Chicky. Not sure. But yeah, a beautiful ceremony. And uh, yeah, Fami Chicky again continues to wear the Kanbini crown. Yep, that's right, man. And um, well, hey, you know what? Today, there's only one star. That's Fami Chicky. You know this this show, this this podcast that we've been doing, really started. You know when we had that video comparing the different chickies, and we declared mm. Fami Chicky the king. And you know it's just the Chicky Wars. Mm. Matt, I think it's safe to say the Chicky Wars, at least for today, are over. Uh, the, uh, you know, on winning the um, the Kambini tournament, I mean, what else can you really say? What, how much higher can you go? I mean, Kambini, Fami Chicky has not just won the Chicky Wars. It, it Today, it has won the Kambini War. The Kambini War is over, Mike, at least yep. for now, like you said. I think this year we'll probably set up yet another tournament because yeah. uh, we do want to, um, you know, you got to keep the competition going. We can't let the Kanbini sort of rest on its laurels. And that includes Fami Chicky. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we, we got to see, we got to push the innovation. We yeah. got to push the new items and mm -hmm. see, okay, what's the next Fami Chicky coming out? Because the farm system, of course, we've seen is absolutely incredible across yeah. all of oh, these Kanbini. And who knows mm. what's coming out next, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, for now, Fami Chicky, yeah. everybody, <laughs> let's just celebrate. I hope everybody in celebration goes out to a family mart and mm -hmm. buys a Fami Chicky, maybe two, and mm -hmm. just enjoys the savory gush of that oh. first bite. Oh boy. Yeah, Matt. And, um, Hey, it's a special day. And, um, we did this before we, we had a, a podcast and it was called legendary feats of juice. I think mm. where we gave some just epic stories about, um, the family chicky and, you know, being as today, this is his big day. I thought today that we could also, you know, look at some other, some other stories that maybe people haven't heard you know, um, and just share them with the listeners and the viewers just to, just to really give a sense of the, the sort mm. of legendary status of mm. Fami Chicky. Absolutely, Mike. Um, yeah, maybe I'll <laughs> kick things off here, but... Um, All right, yeah. Yeah. True story, Mike. Um, okay. Young woman shipwrecked oh. on a Pacific island... Island may be too generous a word for mm. where this young lady found herself. Oh. Just a sandy beach and a couple of palm trees, no food, no water mm -hmm. on the island itself. But uh, fortunately, I guess, mm -hmm. she, she had a Fami Chicky on her. Just one, Mike. Just one Fami Chicky. It was in her purse. And for four days, Mike... Oh. She squeezed that Fami Chicky like it was a water fountain and quenched her thirst, managed to survive for four days. They found her, Mike. Wow. Okay, they found her. Um. Somehow she resisted the temptation over those four days to not actually bite into the Fami oh. Chicky. She, she, she knew it was her only source of 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 hydration right because of that bubbly juice inside <laughs> when they found her she finally was able to take a bite of the family checky mike oh. reportedly her first words upon being saved were i can't believe i can't believe it's still juicy wow four days mike she was squeezing it took a first bite still juicy saved her <laughs> life God, I, you know, Matt, I hadn't heard that story, but that's amazing. I, you know, it, 
it is amazing how that juice can just just last that long and yeah. um just you know saving someone's life like that i mean that's <laughs> that's the sort of thing that fammy chicky does and absolutely matt you know what i had a similar story this is actually a you know a personal story um and mm. pretty recent one um mm. matt did i ever tell you the story about the uh the god of masu izumi no you haven't mike okay well um you know, um, we live in our town, Masu Izumi, and mm. um, during the winter, every so often, there's uh, this legendary man. He's about 80 years old. We call him the god of Masu Izumi. He comes out, and when on a really snowy day, <laughs> he'll plow the roads. He actually has a bulldozer that he oh. pulls out. He'll plow the roads. He'll plow the uh, mm. the parking lots for everybody. He's That's just great. a just a really, yeah, nice guy. And um as I was saying, you know, we're, we're in the midst of a pretty bad blizzard right now. And mm. um, this morning I woke up and my my she was looking out the window and she said, Oh, the, the god of Masuzumi, he's out. He's back out. And so I ran to the window, you know, and I you know, looked outside, I was expecting to see the bulldozer, you know, and mm -hmm. um, but um, instead, I just heard these the sound it was like, a psh, psh, and I was thinking, what the heck's going on? And he was he was throwing something like like horseshoes, sort of just hmm. around. And um, it was it was crazy, Matt. <laughs> these uh, these when these things he throw them, they're almost like grenades. And hmm. and w wherever they landed, the snow in like a, a one meter radius would just instantly evaporate. Hmm. Hmm. And I thought, you know, what the heck is going on out there? Hmm. And so you know, the the whole town, everybody's out there watching him because that's you know what they do when he gets on that uh, bulldozer but you know so there's people they're just holding their shovels and their snow blowers and they're just mouths are wide open they're wondering what's going mm -hmm. on and Matt mm -hmm. I went out there and you know what he's throwing around he's throwing out hot Bammy chickies. Bammy chickies wow yeah and I know hold on I know Matt you're thinking probably whoa that that seems like a waste of family chicky but Matt mm. throws it out boom evaporates that snow Mm. Picks it back up, toss it to one of the the local kids who's <laughs> standing there. Still juicy, still hot. <laughs> that's it's it's amazing, Matt. Um, you know that's just the uh, the heat and the juice of the family chicky just coming together. You know to uh, help out again, and just uh, show its versatility as uh, a legendary item. The utility of this item, Mike, it never ceases to amaze me that uh, an 80 year old man could just uh, clear an entire town by throwing out Sammy Chicky. And again, you could pick it up after it's melted, what, I don't know, 15, 30 cubic feet of snow. It's still hot. That still is hot. an incredible thing. Yeah. Um, wow. Saving lives and, and uh, plowing villages. Mike, I got another yeah, story here. This one a little bit more tragic. Oh, boy. But um, yeah, this one, this one, I'm, I'm going to have a tough time getting out. But I do I do okay. want to. It's more of a, a warning for folks. Oh, boy. Uh, Fammy Chicky fan had a newborn. Oh boy. I was 10 months old at the time, I think. And uh, eager to share his love of Fammy Chicky with his son, mm. he handed him the Chicky. And Mike, uh, I think we all know it's, it's uh, I, guess in, I guess, absent this one particular man, it's common knowledge that when you bite into a Fammy Chicky, the juice is coming out of about 1600 PSI, oh, same boy. as a fire hose. And uh, the kid, you know, with its uh, one or two teeth, did manage oh, to, to break the skin and the juice, Mike. It ripped its head off, Mike. <laughs> the neck muscles hadn't sufficiently developed and oh, uh, the dear. juice, the juice just. Uh, oh, boy. Sorry, I'm going to have a hard time getting this out. Yeah, anyway, just a. Uh, a warning to all those parents not to, uh, I know the family chicky, we all want to share it with mm. our, with our sons and daughters, but give it time until the neck muscles are fully developed so that they can <laughs> handle that, that explosion. Once you breach the chicky skin. Oh man. 
Wow, that's a harrowing story, but um, <laughs> it's a good lesson. And you know, you know, this is the power. This is not something to be tampered with. You know, yeah. this is, uh, you know, you got to be a professional before you you understand what you're working with. Especially kids, you can't be around them. And like you know, last time you were telling, you got to if you're eating in the car, get the windows down. Down, get the windows down. You know, be careful, um, everybody. Just be careful when you're handling your family chickies. This is the pinnacle of the convenience, but this is a very high, powerful, you know, power product. And you know what, Matt? I, you know, I've got a, you know, that was a, that was a pretty tragic story. And I'm, mm. I'm glad that I have one that's more sort of a, uh, you know, sort of reverse. This is a really uh, one that'll really great give you give you hope. Um, so, you know, Dad, you you know uh, my dad, Matt. Um, yeah. He's one of the great exercisers on this planet. Um, you know, he wakes up every day. He exercises for like two hours. He walks like 35 miles a day. You know, he's just a, he's a real inspiration to, to all of us. Um, but Matt, you know, it, it wasn't, it wasn't always that way. Um, hmm. My dad, you know, he's had, he's had really bad uh, legs his whole hmm. life and, and especially his knees. And, um, hmm. you know, about 10 years ago, he got his first knee replacement and then it was only a couple of years ago that um, he got the second one as well. And <clears throat> you know what? I was thinking about it the other day, and I was just thinking it's kind of it's kind of a little bit strange how you know healthy he's been become. You know, mm. he was almost hobbled. Mm. Now he's got those two new knees, and he's I mean, this guy, like I said, he's he's working out you know two thirds of the day, <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> So you know what I asked him? I said, like, what sort of implants did you get? And he said, oh, I, I got the, the, the FC implants. And I said, what's that? Mm. So I did a little research, Matt. That's the F, FC implants. And um, you got to be kidding me. Lo and behold, <laughs> he's got some big family chickies in there. So apparently the way they do it is normally, you know, you got the femur, you know, the thigh mm -hmm. bone, and then you yep. got the tibia, that's like the shin bone. Hmm. And then you've got a knee in between mm -hmm. there with, you know, various, you know, uh, uh, structures. But um, mm -hmm. you know what they do? They just, they get rid of the knee, just slap a family chicky in there. And, but let me, let me tell you, this is not any normal chicky. This is an extra juicy. This is an extra pumped interesting super ju juicy version and yeah man that that really just you know explains how you know he's gone from i mean he's all he's like a 30 year old again this guy he just hit 70. yeah mike i'm trying to picture it now i can see you know you got a really juicy fammy chicky there you're probably riding on like an s-class suspension system at that point i mean it can <laughs> handle any kind of compression and yeah your dad yeah he's walking you know I mean, if you added up all the steps he took in a year, he'd probably walk around from here to the moon <laughs> a few times round and back. Yeah. Wow, Mike. Medical medical uses now for yeah. the family chicky. That is um that is really something. And uh more more uh just more testament to how, why Fammy Chicky mm. won this tournament. Yep. Yep. Yeah. He, the, the chickie is, is the, the king of the Kambini for today and for this, at least for this year, up until now, until we have the next tournament and then we'll see, you know, I mean, we're going to have to see what's going to happen here. Cause I have a, I have a feeling Matt, like you were saying earlier, we've got a lot of big up and comers, you know, we saw Tuna Mayo Onigiri. I mean, what a run. Um, and you know what? I think next tournament we're going to be seeing a few tuna mayo mm. nigiris, and we'll see. You know if Fami Chicky can really hold on to its crown. We'll see, Mike. And and you know, sort of on that same note, why don't we head into the scoreboard this week? Because okay. we're back up and running, Mike. Oh, 2021. Yeah. You know, towards the end of 2020, the Kambini were they were winding down into mm. break again. Lost mm. and had only six items. 7-Eleven was down to like, I think the teens at some point. Mm. We're back up, Mike. Scoreboard right. for this week, and who knows? Out of the new items, we may have a Kambini champion for 2021. Inside this new item scoreboard, we'll see. But out of Family Mart this week, Mike, 53 new items. Out of mm. Lawson, 34. 7-Eleven, yep. 
80. Any oh, reaction man. to those numbers, Mike? Love it. Love it. I feel like we're back into, you know, the sane world again here. Um, you know, Family Mart, Lawson, like to see a few more, but I mean, I'm fine with those numbers. And 7-Eleven, like to see a little bit more, but I'm feeling like we're back in the comfort zone. We're moving again. We're moving. This year is going. And uh, just like you said, we are back and it feels great. Yeah, and um, why don't we jump into our winners and losers. Again, we did peruse all 170 or so of these new items. We and did. let's start off with your loser, Mike. I'm just going to pull it up on screen here so we can have mm -hmm. a look. Oh, I know exactly. Oh, boy. Yep. Oh, boy. Yep, Matt. Ooh, I yep. don't want to zoom yep. in too much. Yeah, careful. This is this is this is some sort of um, <laughs> skin disease here. This is uh, the Quattro Cheese Frank. Um, and for our podcast listeners, let me describe what you got. Um, you got a stick, and on that stick is written cheese for some reason. Oh, and that's that. yeah, and it's a it's just a Frank. It's you know it's a hot dog. It's a sausage on this skewer, and then mm. it has these. It looks like uh, it's terrible, Matt. It like I said, some sort of skin disease or something these cheese blots in here um and uh yeah i mean uh, for for our viewers watching the video not not really much more to say this just looks bad i was hoping if it was going to be a, a cheese frank you know that it would be like a maybe the stringy cheese you know we bite in get the get that long sort of uh cheese in it and um also, again, with these quattro cheeses, I don't care what what let's just have some, you know, cheddar. I would love some cheddar. Mm. I don't need the quattro cheese. So, uh, Matt, yeah, that's my loser for the week. Yeah, Mike, uh, this is a great choice. I almost picked this one as well. Yeah, this looks like it needs to go to uh, Dr. Pimple Popper. I don't know if you're familiar with that. <laughs> oh, channel God. YouTube, oh, but, no. Uh, yeah, this thing looks like it has a severe case of acne, maybe even smallpox. Ugh. Um, yeah, Mike, this thing is pretty wretched. Uh, you uh -huh. described it well. Four kinds of cheese, cheddar, gouda, gojudetto. I don't know what, gojudetto. Go not sure what that is. In common yeah. bear, always get the common bear in there. Um, common I agree, bear. Mike, if you're going to put a, a cheese and a dog here, make it a stretchy cheese. Put some mozzarella yep. in there. Bite in. Oh yeah, that nice string going. I don't know. Yes. This thing looks like uh, this thing needs uh, this needs some work. It's got a skin disease. All right, Mike, <laughs> let's take that off camera, and I'll go to uh, mine here, Mike. Oh, this God. is from yeah. Family yep. Mart. This is the corn mayonnaise oh, onigiri here, Mike. This thing looks like it has uh, jungle rot. Speaking of uh, skin diseases. <laughs> Um, what we're looking at is uh, corn kernels mixed with a heavy dose of mayonnaise just slathered all over the top of an onigiri. Uh, um, Mike, this thing looks like an infested wound. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the first step to to eating this thing to unwrap it or to call a doctor. I'm not, I'm not really sure. This thing... Um, it looks like it just walked off a, a World War I battlefield riddled with machine gun bullets, <laughs> and now its body is slowly rotting. Um, yeah. Also, corn and mayonnaise. Uh, this is how we're starting 2021 here, Family Mart. Come on, at least put some seasoning on it, like some like some Mexican street corn, you know? Yeah. Slather it up with some spice. Mm -hmm. Corn and mayonnaise is just not going to get it done. Yeah, and not like this, you know, maybe if they did the tuna mayo style where in, in the center they had a little burst of, you know, corn and mayonnaise flavor, maybe that would be better. Mm. But yeah, Matt, you know what this made me think of? Um, there's apparently like, so Mai Mai, she has a real aversion to um, things that look like small patterns. So for example, like honeycombs, and that was actually, there's a, there's a term for it, it's called tripophobia tripophobia hmm. interesting and i think if anyone who has that sort of aversion looked at this i think they would they would probably you know not be able to sleep tonight because this is uh yeah matt this is a scary one right here i don't know um you know i think i was actually gonna pick this as well it it's it's just like it looks like they just i don't know there was no planning whatsoever they just no. mashed a bunch of mashed um, it up corn into that rice i don't like it one bit and um you know family mart you know although you are the family chicky mm. you know master 
not not very good items here for uh, for the losers this week. All right, let's turn the page, Mike, and head to our winners. Let's start off with yours here. Let's see what you mm-hmm. got. Boy. Yep. Yep. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Matt, this is um, you know, I just went with the safe route. You know, I think it's safe, it's safe to say that we're both mon maniacs, oh, and yeah. um, I'm talking <laughs> Nico mons. And Matt, this is the Purito mm-hmm. Ebi Nikuman. That's mm. the shrimp mm-hmm. Nikuman, shrimp and pork mm-hmm. uh, steamed bun. And um, what do I really got to say about this, Matt? Mm. I mean, I love Nikuman and I'm really liking the shrimp inside of it mm-hmm. as well. Um, you know, I, I can't really, really say much. This I just want to get out and get it. It's, it seems like the the maybe the flavor that I was missing in the in the mons. You know, mm-hmm. we got the pizza mon, we got the, you know, the curry mon. I want some I want some shrimp in there, and this is uh, looking to be the one for me. So, uh, Matt, this is this is what I picked for my winner this week. Yeah, my great choice. I am testing the Zoom function on yeah. my Safari browser here. Um, mm-hmm. This looks outstanding. And just to let our podcast listeners know, they're not mm-hmm. dicing the shrimp up into tiny little pieces. They It looks like they have full <sighs> shrimp in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Just nestled in to, it's almost like a brick and mortar where you got the, the <laughs> chopped up pork. <laughs> and then you got these big bricks of, of shrimp in there. This oh. thing looks damn tasty. We have, a, it's actually, you know, it's a little surf and turf here, Mike, in yeah. Amman. <laughs> this is the ultimate right. surf and turf, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> my goodness, my mouth is watering. I Ugh. Great choice, Mike. I can't, I actually didn't see this one. So oh, thank wow. you for uh, bringing this to my attention here. Sure thing, man. All right. Uh, my winner for this week, this one comes out of... Uh, Lawson, Mike. Oh boy. Oh, this is the sheet uh, tori pan <laughs> soft cushiony bread pork wiener with cheese, Mike. Oh, also boy. low sugar, it says. Mm. <laughs> well, that that helps. Let me just describe what we're looking at here. It's like we got a the softest <laughs> miniature loaf of bread you've ever seen, ladies and gentlemen, and oh. wrapped inside is a frank it's a hot dog but then on the outer rim you have cheese i'm not sure what kind of cheese this is but it's this sort of uh, blooming cloud of Mm. cheese separating Mm -hmm. the dog from that soft cushiony bread mike Mm -hmm. um I've already indicated to Karen that this is how I want to be buried, like that hot dog, okay? This is already, I've given her the instructions. When I go, you wrap me up in this sheet toity bread and uh, slap on a layer of cheese and then just put me six feet under because that's that's the way to go. Um, Oh. Man, I'm sure as soon as you take a bite of this thing, assuming you can even, you know, what's what's interesting is mm-hmm. you, you mm-hmm. got to take a, you got to open wide because this thing, this bread here, again, this is probably three inches tall here, mm-hmm. but surely when you bite down, it compresses like the softest pillow you could ever imagine. And then you Ooh. get that snap from oh, that hot dog yeah. in there, baby, and you might as well be dead because <laughs> you're in heaven. Ooh. Matt, there's no doubt you are a shitori pan <laughs> maniac. I mean, it's you can stamp, mm. put a stamp on it, Matt. This is um. First off, I'd like to say for our podcast listeners, um, you can't really see, but apparently this has been this is from Lawson, and it's it's of course beautiful as always. And they've got a cross section here, which apparently someone pulled out a samurai sword <laughs> and just. Put a clean, <laughs> clean slice on this. This is almost like they froze time. I mean, you got the wiener and some cheese, and that cheese is not conservative. That is a good squirt mm. of cheese right there. Mm-hmm. Um, Matt, I know, I know this is right up your alley, mm. and I gotta be honest, this looks great to me as well. Now, this is the sort of winner that we 
have come to expect from Lawson, and I'd love to see it. Absolutely. Okay, so uh, that wraps up the winners and losers for this week, Mike. Again, great wow. to see the scoreboard back up to nearly 200 mm-hmm. items. Uh, looking forward to what comes next week. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, Mike, on to uh, a segment we don't do too often, uh, mm-hmm. but it's What's the Call on the Hall? Mike, this Ooh. week we have been getting a lot of hauls for evaluation on Twitter. Mm. And uh, actually, we're a little bit backed up. We've had a hard time keeping up with rating all of them. But um, yeah. this morning, we got an interesting one. This one from Stone Cold Kills- Killzer on Ooh. Twitter. Stone Cold Killer. Oh, boy. Uh, Killzer. There's a Z Killzer. in there. Killzer. Oh, yeah. Okay. oh, yeah. Stone Cold Killzer. Actually, one of our um, more active followers on Twitter. Mm-hmm. And she shared us a haul. I'm going to pull it up here. Mike, you've not seen this haul yet, okay? Okay. I want to make that clear for our listeners. Mm -hmm. Yep. Let me pull this up on screen for you here. All right. Okay, Mike. As you're kind of weighing Ah. everything in front of you here, let me just describe it for our listeners. Wow. Yeah. What we're looking at here is uh, on the left, we have some hand sanitizer, fairly large bottle it looks like. Mm. Then we have a carton of dry oh, sake. Boy. Okay. Oh, boy. Then we have some Calbi potato chips, mm. cheese flavored. Mm. That's a seasonal item. Mm. Then we have some tea, some mm. so can be cha, the famous so can be cha mm-hmm. tea. Mm-hmm. We have some. Gaba. Mm. Yep. And then we mm. have two bags of Kit Kats Hokkaido melon flavor. Those are Kit Kat bites, not sticks. That's the hall, Mike. Wait, wait, hold on. All right. Let me, let me, all right. I got to think this through here. Okay, let me. <laughs> this is surprising. This is one of the most surprising hauls I've probably ever seen in my life, man. Um, mm. All right, let me tell you first off, going left or right, I see that hand sanitizer. I instantly think, all right, this is a party. You know, you're, you're, you're going to be oh, meeting with some people. Interesting. So you're bringing this, uh, the hand sanitizer. So, you know, you can share with other people. Of course, this is the coronavirus, you know, world that we're living in. And, um, you know, if this is a haul for one, then I don't see why you need the, the hand sanitizer. So that's... Mm. But then you get over to, you got the sake, okay. So I'm thinking, mm-hmm. hey, party, mm-hmm. chips, hey. Tea, you need some, you know, you need that. Then I saw the GABA for sleep. <laughs> hmm. And then the double Hokkaido melon. This is a, uh, they must really love this Hokkaido melon. Mm. So Matt, I don't really know the occasion of this haul, but I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I'm gonna say this is an extended haul here. This is a haul that you're going to be taking home <laughs> and it's not going to be lasting you just one meal. This is going to be, oh, interesting. Maybe you're, you're doing a little grocery shopping with that hand cream or the uh, hand sanitizer, hmm. the GABA for when you go to sleep. And then you got these snacks, uh, you know, so I think the GABA is more like, you know, a utility item here. <laughs> <laughs> so I, all right. Yeah, this is interesting. I, man, I don't know the extended utility hall. This is a tough one. I guess I'll give it, you know, hey, three stars. You know, this is a mm. this is a standard. Mm. This covers a lot of bases. It goes wide, and you know, there's also it looks like there's some, you know, just some uh, shopping in included as well. I don't know. Maybe there's a backstory that would inf- influence my opinion a little bit, but yep. I think in general, I'd say this about a three-star haul. Yeah, I agree, Mike. Three-star haul. That makes sense. I was also, also a little bit confused. I should have I should have inquired about the context behind the haul because there mm. is just a wide variety. And this GABA, this GABA, mm. the GABA, Mike, um, <laughs> for sleep. This, I guess, helps you sleep. This is a uh, compelling item here. Um could be another questionable claim on the packaging yeah. of a convenient item. We've seen yeah. those before, Mike. In fact, we saw one beverage that claimed mm-hmm. to, I think, cure all 
disease and illness. That's right. Um, but I guess this GABA helps you go to sleep. So yeah, very interesting haul. Three stars, I think is the right play here, but uh, I should have asked for more context. We'll do the next time. Yeah, yeah. I And I and I will say, if, um, you know, times were different. If that was a, like, a, you know, Hanami going out to see the cherry Ooh. blossoms, now that, hey, hey, that's, you sub, you sub right. a couple, yeah, yeah, that's a, that would be maybe four or five stars. But anyways, Matt, nice haul, love it. Uh, always great to see some new hauls. And please, everybody, like, let it, you know, give us your hauls, and uh, we'd love to see them. All right, yeah. Mike, now it's on to uh, my favorite segment each week. This is At the Gimbo with Mike. The Gimbo, of course, the place where the action happens. Mike, mm -hmm. you are where the action happens in Kanazawa. Mm -hmm. What do you got for us this week? Yep. Matt, I have, you know, it's only fitting, you know, today the show, the theme, the champion is the Fami Chicky. And so, mm -hmm. Matt, this week I, you know, I went ahead and, um, oh boy. This is mm. last week. This is the oh. Gochu Chang Fami mm. Chicky, the mala flavor. Matt, you said this is the most excited you've been for Absolutely. Chicky since we started this podcast, right? Mm -hmm. No doubt. Yeah, I was pretty excited as well. So Matt, let me tell you what happened. I went to the Kambini the maybe about a, you know three or four days ago, and I, I had it. Mm -hmm. Got to be honest, I was a little disappointed. Oh no! Oh no! I yeah. Let me tell you, it was noticeably lack. The flavor was great, but it was lacking some juice. Juice? Oh no! Oh no! So. That kind mm. of worried me because, you mm. know, I thought, oh boy, is it something about this, the mala flavor? Do they don't, they, it sort of counteracts the juice. So, mm. but I didn't want to leave it like that. I was thinking, okay, a three star, I guess. Mm. So I didn't want to leave it like that. So my, my, I told her, you know, how excited you were for this. Mm. And I was super excited as well. So yesterday, actually, we walked to the Kambini and the mm. snowing. We In went to blizzard. go get another in the blizzard to get another number two old number two i bought one and she bought one mm. we both got our own one and so i bit in i ate it i watched her eat it and at mm -hmm. the end she just said five stars wow and i agreed i said that's five stars right there i don't know matt wow this, it was i think i had a leaker you know i think that first one was a leaker <laughs> And it worries me thinking maybe some these people who don't like family chicky, maybe they just had a bad chicky, you know, especially in Tokyo. You can imagine there's all these kombinis. Some of yeah. these, they're sitting a little bit too long. So anyways, Matt, I'm happy to tell you this was a slam dunk, man. This was great. We both five stars. Great, great chicky right here. Well, that is tremendous news, Mike. Yeah, I had high hopes for this one. And time and time again, Family Mart releases these flavored chickies and they never live up to the hype, especially the spicy chickies. So it is fantastic mm -hmm. to yep. see a spicy chickie live up to the hype. My Mai's first bite, first words, five stars. Wow, Mike, that is tremendous. <laughs> More proof, Goju Jane. I mean, it improves everything. If you don't know what it is, Google it. I don't know how to spell it, but just type anything in. I'm sure it'll pop up. Fermented Korean chili paste stuff is fantastic. Mm -hmm. And yeah, great point, Mike, about the leakers. Um, yeah, if you had a Fami Chicky and you don't like it, um, mm -hmm. yeah, you probably got a leaker as you mm -hmm. described it. Just go yeah. back and get another one at a different Family Mart. Because if you don't like Fami Chicky, the problem isn't the Chicky. It's probably you ultimately mm -hmm. okay if you need four or five <laughs> of these things and you still don't like it okay but first time yeah it could be the chicky okay could be the so chicky. just go get another one yep and if and if you you know i advise you try to hit like a suburb <laughs> family <laughs> mark, you know like in the suburbs with a big parking lot you know and walk in there and you should see at least four or five chickies if, yeah. if there's only one in there i'd say and it's your first time don't don't go there you know mm. wait till it's stocked up so but yeah matt um great start you know to the year for the for the family chicky i mean i like i said what was great about it is like you just said it it wasn't there it was just a family chicky with gochujang the mm -hmm. sauce it wasn't like overpowered it was just giving you this nice little different flavor 
Um, and, uh, you know, like you said, it goes good with anything, and it went well with the Fammy Chicky. Well, what a way to end the episode here, Mike. We start off crowning Fammy Chicky the oh. winner, the champion of the Convini tournament, champion. and we end it with a five star special limited edition Fammy Chicky. I mean, setting the tone for 2021 here. Way to go. Congratulations <laughs> again to Family Martin, Fammy Chicky. We're looking yes. forward. I it's gonna be tough for somebody mm-hmm. to unseat the champion, but we'll see what happens in 2021 here, Mike. For sure. All right. Uh, well, that wraps up this week's episode. Want to thank all of our listeners for tuning in. Please subscribe to the podcast and rate it on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Also share it with your friends and family. You can also check it out on YouTube, subscribe to the channel and like it, leave a comment. You can see everything we're talking about as we're doing the episode. Also, find us on social media, on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Twitter is where most of the action happens, including the Conbini tournament. You can see all the matchups and the results there. If you have a Conbini memory or a Conbini composition, please leave a message at anchor.fm slash boys. Or if you're in the U.S., give us a call, leave us a voicemail at 617-453-8207. We'll play it. No editing. Right on the podcast. Nope. All right. Just want to thank everybody for listening one more time. And Mike, hey, I'll see you next week at the Convini. See you at the Convini, Matt. Convini boys. They're the Convini boys. They're the Convini. They're the Convini. They're the Convini. They're the Convini.